Hello everyone, it's Diffusion Gaming here for another episode of TWD. Now in this episode, I'm going to be talking about like if, like will GD 2.2 be the last update? Because I don't know, I've been thinking of some things and it might be. I'm not sure. But let's get into it. Now first let's start off about why I think it's the last update. Well for the first thing, it it's taking a long time. I mean, it was like that in the last update as well, but I don't know. Who knows, Robtop could be adding a lot to the game and is just not telling us about the new features. Like a big update, like a secret update, a lot of new secret features. Or, he could be procrastinating. So he'd be like working a short amount of time every day or more. So he's like barely working, always putting off doing the work. But this could be because he is lost in motivation like he might want to stop working on the game but he just doesn't want to let anyone down i mean if this is true rob top should just say if he wants to stop working on the game instead of showing everyone lots of upcoming features than making us wait over a year for the next update i think that would be better than i don't know i think it's better if he tells us that he wants to stop working if he wants to stop working on it than making us wait for possibly nothing and another reason why it could be taking long, a long time, is this is very unlikely, but who knows, maybe he forgot how to make games. I don't know. Maybe he just forgot how to make games and he's always relearning. This is very, very, very unlikely, but I guess it is in the realm of possibilities. Now the second reason why I think this might possibly be the last update is... He's not really updating us. Like I said before, he could just be keeping it a secret, getting ready for a big update. Or he could just be not working on it much. I don't know. But if he, if he were constantly updating us, then I would know he's working on it, but he hasn't been, so... Yeah. Those, those are the two... So those are the two main reasons why I think this might be the last update, is... It's taking a long time, and... It's not really updating us. Now next, should 2.2 be the last update? To be honest, I don't know. There are pros and cons to 2.2 being the last update, and it won't be the worst thing to happen. Like for example, there is lots of room for design. Like even to this day, I'm still finding very unique stages, and 2.2 has been out for over a year now, I think. So I think if 2.2 is the last update, people will never stop running out of ideas. So should 2.2 be the last update? It doesn't really matter to me. But I will go over what might happen if it is the last update. So if it is the last update, people might start leaving, obviously. And people will start calling this a dead game, which is pretty obvious. It's like that with any game. It doesn't take very many people to leave a game for people to start calling it a dead game. And I don't know why. But the term dead game really bothers me. I I don't know. It, it's, it's a pet peeve of mine whenever someone uses the term dead game. When it's like not really supposed to be used. I think people use the term dead game when a game is slowly dying. Like it's slowly losing players or something. Like if it loses its player base just a little bit. There will just be a lot of people saying yep this is dead. I don't think a game is truly dead until the servers are shut down, everyone has stopped playing it. Or, if you're playing a game that requires you to need a certain amount of people to start a game, but there's so little people that you can never get in a game. Those are my requirements for... That's what I consider a dead game. When there, there really isn't any game to play. I mean, if it's like... If it's like a non-multiplayer game, it's all single player, I don't know if it can really die. Because you can always play it. Alright, now here's what I can here's a good thing about 2.2 being the last update, for me at least. There might be a smaller community. Alright, you might be thinking this is a bad thing, but I think it would be amazing. The main reason why I think this would be amazing is the whole underrated stage problem might not be as big as it is right now. Like if there are less stages and less creators, it will be a lot easier to get noticed. So you'll, you'll post a stage, and it'll very likely be seen by a lot more people. Or at least a lot more people for the amount of people that still play the game. 
so things will be a lot more simple. There will be less standards for a stage, so there won't be very many stages with a lot of design. So you won't have to worry about your stage being good enough. So that there won't be as much people like making stages with a lot of design. I've actually noticed something recently. It seems like there has been more and more people doing the absolute minimum to get a creator point. So I think most people are just making stages now to get CP instead of doing it for fun. So if the player base is smaller, more people will most likely put more work into the stages. Maybe because it's going to be seen more or it might get more attention. Because there are so many stages that go by now and that a lot of them look so similar. I think people are just farming CP instead of doing it for fun now. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode of TWD. Hope you enjoyed. And for the question, do you think Geometry Dash 2.2 will be the final update? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's going to be it, so goodbye.